I want to discuss the effect of camera height as I go and photograph Dunstan Castle. Right, good evening, and you find me camping out in the northeast coast of England again. And today, or tomorrow, we're planning on going photographing Dunstanbury Castle. I'm doing this tonight because we're planning on getting up early in the morning to drive to Craster, which is about a quarter of an hour drive from where I'm camping, and then walk along the coast to where I want to photograph Dunstanbury Castle and get there before sunrise and hopefully get some colour. That will remain to be seen. But what I do want to do while we're on this trip is talk about and show the effect of the diff having the camera at different heights, whether that be low to the ground or higher up and what it can do to the composition and the image. So, yeah. We're going to get to sleep and we'll see you in the morning at Dunstanbury Castle. Right, well good morning. And you find us now at our first composition with Dunstanbury Castle. And it's just the, the fairly iconic one with the cobblestones looking to the castle and this is looking south and you can see that the castle is over over there but the sun should be rising over in that sort of direction and there's no obvious sign of it at the moment and it should be up by now so it's obviously hidden behind all these clouds I think there's going to be an, a, the weather is going to be challenging today because I think it's talking about virtually clear skies later on. Um, I was hoping for a bit of colour this morning, but there just doesn't seem to be anything unless it's rising behind uh, the rock there. But yeah, so I mean, you can see the camera here, and we've just, as I say, we've, uh, we've got the 24 to 70 on, we've zoomed right in to the castle and we've got the stones in front and it's quite a nice composition and um, the way the clouds move and I might try some long exposures and I said I was going to talk about uh, the different effects of height I may um, try that here I don't know I just feel very precarious um, you can see that there's a lot of these boulders that I'm stood on and they are very slippery in places so you just got to be extremely careful but this is the iconic image and the other thing I did do a recce last night and came up here and obviously this is the furthest north I'm going to come and then I'm going to head back to Craster taking various images um, and maybe come back the, late this afternoon when the sun should be behind me or over that way behind me and lighting up the, the, the castle a bit more and there is uh, you can't see it um, on the frame here but there is an old World War II bunker there I suppose a bit like Fortress Britain and you've got the castle which is sort of fortress so I might see if there's good light in there whether I can get an image with the two of them on so yeah well, we'll we'll take some more images uh we'll put the best one up and then we'll see you a little bit later right well we've dropped the camera as much as we can it's very difficult on um these boulders and that to even get the tripod stable because the feet are just slipping all over the place but I've managed to get it lower, so you can see it's there looking to 
the castle. Um, this has two two effects really. One, it makes the the boulders more dominant. Although I mean, it is at the same um, focal length at the 70 and by coming down you don't see quite as much of the ruins in the background that's why I really wanted it um, at full height I did try putting a putting up the middle um, center column to do a lot higher image but that just wasn't working it, it's quite windy and it was just blowing it all over the place so Anyway, we'll, we'll put the images up, the, the one that I prefer, the, the standard image at the height, but then just as a comparison, I will put the, the one taken lower down that I've just taken now so you can compare. I mean, hopefully we'll get some other images where we can um, talk through it a bit more and we can get bigger differences in height. So, right, we'll put these images up and we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well we've now come to the pier and as you can see there's this sort of archway which I thought would be quite good for capturing an image of the, the actual castle. Um, but what I thought I'd do was if I bring up the, the 5D and I've got it videoing but I've just got it handheld at the moment just to show you We'll just come back a bit just to show you the effect so obviously as we go higher there's less of a gap between the um, the top of the, the archway and the castle and as we come down and you can see quite a bit of sea but if we come down we get more of a gap and if we come quite Oh, low. Oh, it's a hard floor. You get less sea, but you can still see the castle. So it does have quite a an effect. So what I'm going to do is I'll I'll get the tripod out and capture images at various heights, so I can see them, and I'll and then you can decide which one you think is is best. So. Yeah, we'll stop that recording and yeah, as I say, we'll take some images, we'll put them up and we'll see you a little bit later.
Right, hope you enjoyed those um, pictures and I don't know which you think is best. Right, what I'm going to do now, I'm heading, going to head back to the van, feeling a bit peckish, a bit like um, the last video. I got up very early, haven't really had much to eat, so, and it's getting on for half eight, nine o'clock, so we're going to go back to the van, do some breakfast, have a coffee, and then we're going to head back to the castle, because by then it'll be open. So I thought I'd have a wander around the castle and take some held, handheld images. So, yeah, we'll do that and we'll see you a little bit later. to the castle but unfortunately it's not open today due to poor weather which is presumably because of the um, the strong winds yeah with these winds I'm just hoping my tent <laughs> is okay so probably what I'm gonna do is just have a quick wander around the outside of the castle see if I can get any images and then head back to the harbour and we'll maybe see if we can get a few images around the harbour so yeah we'll see you a little bit later Right, well we're back at the castle, we've been seeing my aunt to wish her happy birthday and now we've come back and we're getting towards sunset time and the sun is actually quite bright and shining here but what I wanted to do, I think I mentioned it earlier, we've got this World War II um, bunker etc and then we've got the castle in the background. So we've come to capture the image here. I've had a couple of slight problems. One is shadows. You can see there's my shadow there. And the other is that the head seems to have gone on the tripod. I can put the camera on it and hold it still, but I can't tighten it up. So I'm struggling. I think I've got the images, but so the first image I took is similar to what we have here. Um, it was taken at this sort of height where you've got the, the bunker and 
castle behind. But then what I did, if we come here, you can see there's the tripod there and we came right down to this sort of level. And you can see what a difference it makes that the bunker and the um, castle are now on, on a level. Whereas as, as we go up, the castle rises up and is above the bunker. So yeah, that's quite interesting. I'm not quite sure which is best. It's certainly a different perspective. And yeah, it'd be interesting if people would comment on um, which they think is, is the best. What I might try and do is go backwards with the long lens and see if I can just compress them a bit. Um, we'll try that and whatever's the the best we'll put up on the video and we'll see you a bit later so yeah after this we're going to be heading back towards crest to see what the sun does and as i say we'll see you a bit later Right, well we've dashed from where I was up to the front of the castle and I've managed to capture, now whether they'll come out or not, you can just see there the sun has just gone below the horizon. I managed to get some with the, um, the castle there and the sun going down and hopefully we'll get a, uh, a starburst or sunburst on those. Um, I did up the... Um, aperture to 22 to encourage the uh the sunburst so yeah we'll see how that does and now we're definitely going back to um Crasta. we're going to have some tea and then we're going to think about maybe um coming out from semester i'll have a think about it and we'll talk about it shortly maybe when i get back to the the van so um, and you can see there on the horizon there's a, a little bit of color in the, the sky but we're going to head back to Cresta now so we'll see you shortly Right, I'm on my way back to Craster and I'm going to wind up this video here. It's been a great day um, in the majority of it. The fact that my um, platy ball 
head is playing up is um, not a good thing, but I think we've got some good images. It's a shame the weather wasn't nicer. And hopefully, I've probably been preaching to the converted about trying different heights and that, but hopefully by talking about it and showing you different images and the effect that it can have will make um, just reinforce what you probably already know so yeah it's uh, and as I say it's been the first time I've been to Dunstanburg Castle and certainly would seek to come again sometime but I think what I need to do is come up with a bucket list of places I want to go back to and come up with some planning of what the best time to come is what the, with regards to the tides the time of year so where the sun rises and sets so yeah it's been a, a good day I might try and go and do some astro if I do that will be a separate video it may be just a short video that I'd then put up midweek so yeah things are going reasonably well with the channel it is slowly progressing we always want things to go faster don't we but we seem to take a jump a slight jump today in the number of um, subscribers so that's quite good but um, yeah I'm not quite sure what what's going to happen in the uh, the next few weeks I'd, I'd sort of planned uh, the trip to see him for the wheels I'd thought and planned about this but uh, yeah I'm not quite sure what will get done for the following week just no ideas at the moment so I'll put, to put my thinking hat on and that so yeah I think I've rambled enough so we'll say We'll see you on the next video.